Goedemorgen kinders, good morning children, welkom. Vandaag is maandag 4 mei. Today is Monday the 4th of May. Ons sal nou Afrikaans doen. Ok, we are going to do some revision of nommers. Wat is nommers? Numbers. And there at the top of your page you will see die nommers 1 tot 20. So let's count together from 1 to 20. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. By a moi. You have been practicing these boys and girls and it should by this stage come very easy to you. Later on in the week, we're going to be moving on to numbers tot 50 to 50. So if you don't know Ian tot 20, you must practice this a lot and make sure that you've got it perfectly. Okay. I would like you to pause the video and get your whiteboard and marker now just to do a little toots, a little test to see if you know your numbers well. Right, let's begin. So I'm going to say 10 numbers and you are going to write them on your whiteboard. Okay, so the first number I want you to write down, you can just write down the digit, you don't have to write the spelling, you don't have to write the, the letters. The first number is faith. Schrijf nummer 5. Dan 10. Schrijf 10. 15 is next. 15. Dan 3. Schrijf nummer 3. 20 is the next one. 20. And then 12. Wat is nummer 12? 18. Wat is 18? 13. 4. And the last one, 11. Okay, so you should have 10 numbers written down now. Let's see how many you're going to get right out of 10. The first one was. Faith, number faith, which is five. Tin, number tin, which is ten. Fifteen, fifteen, which is fifteen. Three, which is three. Twenty, which is twenty. Twelve, which is twelve. Eighteen, which is eighteen. 13, which is 13, 4, which is 4, and the last one, 11, which is 11. Did you get them all right? I hope so. Okay, last little exercise. Let's come backwards now. Van 20 tot 1. Ready, go. 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, in Ian by a moe. No, on sal doen die daar van die week. You did do this last week, you did practice it, so let's see how much you remember. And if you've been looking at your posters that you made, I've seen some amazing posters that some very creative children made. So I hope they've helped you to learn die daar van die week. 
Okay, so on your whiteboards now, I want you to write down the letters you can see. M, D, W, D, V, S, and S. And then I want you to try and write down the DAF and the VIRC. Okay, so those letters, those beginning letters, are the beginning letters for each day of the week. So let's see how many you can remember. Start with Mandag. Oh, I've already given you one. Let's see if you can do it. Press pause on your video while you do it. Okay, let's check. Mandag, the one I told you. Next, Dinsdag. For Tuesday, Wednesday. For Wednesday, Donderdag. For Thursday, Vrijdag. For Friday, Saturdag. For Saturday, and lastly, Sondag. For Sunday. So I wonder how many of you got so many of those right. I hope that you did. Let's just say them again together. Maandag, Dinsdag, Woensdag, Donderdag, Vrijdag, Saturdag en Sondag. Baie, baie mooi. Okay. What you do need to do now is get your Afrikaans book in Dry Om Blad Se Ach in Twintach. So get your Afrikaans book and turn to page 28. There in the middle of the screen, you will see what page 28 will look like. And we're going to be doing the 12th manda, the 12 months of the year. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. So we can see the 12 manda, which I've also typed on the screen. I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat it after me. The first month, January. Next, February. Next, March. Next, April. Then, May, the month we're in now. Then uni, followed by Juli, then Augustus, September, October, November, and December. Okay, those are the months of the year. All right. So what you are going to do now, you will see on page 28, it gives you the month in English. Next to it, it gives you the month in Afrikaans. And then you are going to write the month in Afrikaans again. Be very careful of the spelling of it. And as, I, as you write it, I want you to try and say the word aloud to get a feel for the pronunciation. Okay. So let's go. The first one, January. So write down January. Then February. Write February. March comes next for March. Then April, after April is May, then uni, after uni is Juli, and then Augustus, followed by September, then October, November, and lastly, 
December. Okay, so make sure you've written those down. If you need to, press pause and make sure that you've got the spelling right too, because some of the spellings are different. Even if the words sound similar, the spelling is different. There are only two words that have the same spelling in English and Afrikaans. No, there's three words. I've just spotted another one. Can you spot them? Mm, look, look, look carefully, carefully. Okay, have you got April? April in April. Same spelling, but different way of saying it. Have you got September in Afrikaans? September. Have you got November, which is November? Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the sentences at the bottom of the page. Right, the sinner. Sinner is sentences. So the first sentence says, May for yars dach is in demand. Now look at the end of the, the line and you'll see a beautiful cake, which gives you a hint of what we are talking about. So we know May means my. We know Mont means month. So the big question is Fryarsdag. What is your Fryarsdag? And when do you have cake? Normally on your birthday. So write down the month that your birthday is in. The next one says school begin in. Now that sounds very similar to English and looks very similar to English. So you should be able to figure that out. School is school. So what month does school begin? The beginning of the year, which is the first month we start school. Okay, and then we've got kersfeers is in demand. My favorite time of year. Kersfeers. Again, look at the picture at the end of the sentence to give you a hint. Beautiful Christmas tree. So kersfeers is Christmas. What month is Christmas in? Nummer vier. Volgende maand. Next month. It's helped you there. Next month is... So we are in May now. What comes next after May? And the last one, demand for May is. So the month for, the word for means before. Which month is before May? So make sure that you have written all of those down beautifully in neat handwriting. In Danye is klar by Hut. You are finished for the day uh, with Afrikaans. Bye, goed. Tot ziens, kinders. Bye, dankie.